Weight tilt between Bobby Green and Anthony Showtime Pettis. All right, here he is, the former UFC lightweight champion, a man for whom one name is good enough, Showtime. And you watch him. You know that when he goes, it's going to be a show. So when he turns his back to the camera and points at the Showtime, right. it always gets people excited because in a few moments, you're gonna watch something very, very fun. From that Showtime kick to the submission of Benson Henderson in Milwaukee, to the knockout of Wonderboy Thompson, even in defeat, when he fought Tony Ferguson, the stock of Anthony Pettis continues to rise even though he's been here for a while. As versatile a finisher as we have in the game at present, moves up to welterweight, promptly knocks out Stephen Wonderboy Thompson as a sizable underdog that night. Far be it from me to doubt anything that Anthony Pettis can accomplish in a mixed martial arts setting, and he is back for more here tonight. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, yeah. and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Both fighters are 33. Pettis will have a one-inch reach advantage. We send it inside Ladies the octagon and gentlemen, we find Chris Buff. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Taekwondo fighter holding a professional record of 24 wins, 10 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion, Anthony Showtime. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 28 wins, 12 losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Fontana, California, Bobby King Green. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. We've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. A swing and a miss by Pettis. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. That's a big strike right there. 
tags him with the overhand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Under three minutes remain in round one. Stay strong. Stay strong. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. And he landed the right hand there. Right punches there. Beautiful combination there from Anthony Pettis. Really the face of Duke Rufus' team there in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. They've got a lot of fighters who've had a lot of UFC success. Chief among them, the former lightweight king, Anthony Showtime Pettis. Big punch lands over the top. Other fighters. Always bet on that lead left hand. His oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just over 20 total strikes have landed for Anthony Showtime Pettis. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step. It's getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon Whoa! tonight. How about those five minutes? All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Round two is underway. Dig and kick. Lands the right hand. Oh, huge block. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big call from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Over and over and over. He's landing these nasty body kicks. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. That kick blocked by Green. Beautiful strike. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus bits in his opponent. So a much different approach from him here in round two. It took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. What a punch. So we pull up the numbers here, 45 Whoa! total strikes. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, he might be out. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. 
Unable to connect with the right hand there. Clipped him with the right hand there. Five seconds remain in the round. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Oh, nice strike landed there by Green. 20 seconds to go round two. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful kick. Nice hook there by Pettis. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Third round underway. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. How good is that right here? Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, that's a good right hand. Nice loop and punch. Let's get him down. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. He didn't like that oh. right hand. Gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Oh! Just over three minutes to go now. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Big kick land. Beautiful hand skills here. The right, then the left. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He's done. He's done. Nice straight punch. Pettis' kick to the body. That one blocked by the defense. Oh! Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Wild swing there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Leg kick. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, slips to avoid the right. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Waiting seconds here of round number three. Green gets caught with that punch. That's three rounds first. in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Oh, huge right hand! He needs to 
Lillard looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night as that landed. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, vintage stuff there. Nice combination of strikes. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. He is getting lit up right now, John. Oh! Oh! Back to the feet! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish. Wow! Down. And just like that, the fight is over! Oh, my goodness! What a fight! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, six seconds of round number four. We're playing the winner by knockout, Bobby King Reed. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.